Dave knows how. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to talk a little bit about digging a pond with a box blade. So I had a subscriber recently leave me a question. Well, actually a couple questions. But one of those questions was, Dave, can you show digging a pond with a box blade? Removing a couple inches of dirt at a time and digging the pond with a box blade. So I guess, you know, the first question is, can it be done, okay? And the answer is, yes, it can be done. Um, are there better ways to do it? Yeah, probably so. I mean, running an excavator is one thing that comes to mind. Um, but can it be done? In most general cases, yes, it can be done. And I know this because I've been watching this YouTube channel that's it's not completely brand new, but it's fairly new. Uh, you know, it's a few years old, I guess, maybe. I'm not really sure exactly how long it's been on, but I've been watching him for, you know, a little bit. Anyway, he's got a video series on digging a pond, and he's actually using the box blade to do it. Now, he does use the front-end loader a little bit, but everything that he does with the box blade and the front-end loader, he could actually do with just the box blade because, I mean, basically, you know, you just drag whatever's in the box. Once this box is full of material to the top, it's not going to dig any deeper, okay? So you could... You could drive it back and forth over here until this thing is full and then drag it 50, 75 yards over there and it's not going to dig down any deeper. It's just going to take what's in the box over there and then when you look at the three-point, it's going to dump it. And you come back and you drive around and around and around, fill it up again. Once it's full, drive it over there, dump it and repeat. Um, it's a little slow, yes, absolutely slow. And it works better in some soil conditions than others. Now the first thing that you need to do, of course, is to familiarize yourself with your box blade and your tractor and get your box blade set up correctly on the back of your tractor. So if you haven't seen my video series on setting up the box blade, the angle of the dangle, you need to check that out because that is a starting point for correctly setting up your box blade to use it. And it is like night and day difference. I can't tell you how many people have contacted me called me, emailed me, messaged me, left comments. I mean, you name it, reached out to me from all over the world claiming that that video series helped them tremendously with their box blade. It basically smoothed out the learning curve to using the box blade and it just took a lot of the mystery out, okay? Having that starting point is vital. And once you have that and you put it into practice, it is just, you're light years ahead of everybody else, okay? I wish I'd done that video even longer ago on my channel because it was just so important, you know? Um, anyhow, Watch that video, it will help. Go over to Shannon's channel, Bama Country 88. I'm gonna put a link at the end of this video to that channel. Go over there, check it out. Watch his video series on digging a pond with the box blade. If you have any questions, reach out to him and he will be happy to answer them. Believe me, the guy is just, he's just, down to earth, okay? He is just a wonderful person. 
He wants to help. He enjoys making videos and showing people what he's got going on on his property and what he's doing. And I know he would just love to help answer any questions that you have about using the box blade to build this pond on his property. And uh, I have personally enjoyed watching his channel. I do, I admit I watch his channel pretty regular um, and I enjoy it. I actually watch a lot of channels pretty regular. <laughs> I don't always get to comment on all of them because between the comments that I get on my videos trying to answer them and then trying to go back and reply to comments that I leave on other videos, it does get a little bit overwhelming for me because I don't have anybody to help me. So all the, the comments that I answer and all the comments that I leave on other videos are all done and left by me personally. And it can get overwhelming sometimes because, you know, not only do I get comments on YouTube videos, I also get emails to my private email. I get questions that have to have in-depth answers that I have to answer through emails about different subjects. Um, some of them not even tractor related, okay? Go check out Bama Country 88 subscribe to his channel give him some love if you have any questions about digging a pond ask him if you have any questions for me feel free to ask me i'll do my best to answer it but i think a better qualified person to answer that particular question would be him because he's actually in the process of, of doing it now keep in mind this is all based on your soil conditions where you're wanting to put this pond at. If you're trying to put this pond on the side of a mountain that is nothing but rock, uh, you know, this may not work at all using a box blade. So it is depending on soil conditions. You have to keep that in mind. Check out that other channel I told you about. Thank you guys for watching my channel. Thank you for all the great questions and the, the everything. I mean, wow. I, I never would have thought that so many people over the internet would be so good to me and think of me. You know, even when, you know what, I, I just like, why are you, you know, why are you worried about me? You're all the way, you're halfway across the world. Why are you worried about me? You're three or four states away or you're a state away or whatever. But you do, you know? And it's just, I don't know, man, it's weird. It's heartwarming. It's not something that I'm used to because in all honesty, some of you guys treat me better than my own family. <laughs> um, it, it, seriously, uh, it's kind of, it's kind of overwhelming and it's, it uh, kind of rekindles my hope for humanity, so to speak. It's been very humbling and um, I do appreciate it. I mean, don't think for one minute it's gone unrecognized because it hasn't, believe me. Anyhow, I could ramble on about that forever till the cows come home, but I won't do it. I won't keep you any longer because I know it's, what, Friday night? And you got a lot of videos to watch because a lot of videos come out on Friday night. So get to it. Watch them videos. And um, I hope you enjoyed this one. I know it wasn't exactly uh, probably what you thought it was going to be. You probably thought I was going to start digging a pond with this thing, but... Um, that's already been covered. So hop on over there to Shannon's channel, check him out, subscribe, and see what's going on. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.